Hey, how you doing, man? How's it going, brother? Pretty good, man. Appreciate you giving me some time today. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. Really, ha really ain't got much to do with this quarantine going on. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody real fast. Uh, my name is Devon Brown, uh, safety at Florida Atlanta University. That's what's up. So, Devon, you know, you were a three-star corner coming out of high school. What led to your decision to attend FAU over other schools? Uh, the reason I chose FAU is just to, uh, to build my own legacy. You know, uh, FAU wasn't known for uh, winning ball games or even uh, winning championships, you know. Right. And I just wanted to change that and change the culture around FAU, especially like my hometown. You know, I'm, I'm only an hour, 30 minutes away from here, so – it's good to see my family come here and people who, who knew me and around the neighborhood know that, sheesh, if he can do it, I can do it, you know. So I wanted to change the culture where people see, like, where it's local, we can change stuff, not going out of state to play ball. Exactly. So, you know, you had a big year in 2019, making 76 tackles from the safety position, including eight tackles versus Ohio State, what was, like, arguably one of your best games in college. How did it feel to take advantage of your playing time? Uh, it felt real good. Even though I had a couple – I caught. I started a couple of games my uh, junior year, but I'm a true believer in um, believing in God's timing, you know. So when it was time to come, I become the number one guy. I took in the ring with it, you know. So I treated like every game, every practice like my last game, you know, because I didn't want to be that what if guy. What if I would have did this? What if I would have did that, you know, to be a better player or to be a better position? So I just ran with it, you know. My teammates believed in me. My coaches believed in me. And I just ran with it, brother. That's what's up. So, you know, like, what do you think is, like, the most important trait that you have that will help, like, help you succeed in the NFL at the next level? Uh, to be honest, I'm a great open field tackler. You know, uh, in, in the NFL, you got to tackle. A lot of people don't want to tackle, but you have to tackle, and I take really pride in tackling. I am a tremendous special team player. I take pride in special teams, you know. Like, my last year, I didn't, a lot of, I didn't play a lot of snaps at special team because I started every game and every play of my senior season. But from my freshman year to my junior year, I started every special team uh, uh, squad, and I took really, uh, really advantage of every day. Uh, I'm a fast learner. I play fast. I, I learn fast, and I live. I live in a film room. You know, I like. I like to play fast because I live in a film. I want to know what teams want to do. I don't want want to know what teams like to do. What who they like to get the ball to. You know, so I like to know those things. So that was type of uh, swag I bring to the table. So you, how do you like prepare like you know your diet and your workouts, especially in like today's pandemic for your transition to the NFL? Like, how are you working out despite, like, you know, gyms being closed and stuff like that? And then, obviously, how are you maintaining your diet? Yeah, he's saying with me, I like to learn. I like to learn from others. So, when I was at uh, XB uh, uh, and Boca Raton, we had a lot of NFL guys coming there. And one thing about me, I asked a lot of questions. So, I asked those guys what they did to uh, stay in the league so long. Because we had a lot of veteran guys coming there. What you did, guys, did uh, stay in the league? Every guy said the same thing. We took care of our bodies, man. We went to treatment. We did this. We did a little thing. Just little things. So, that's things I try to put in my game. You eat well. Instead, instead of snacking on a, a bag of chips, you know, just snack on a protein bar, do some push-ups, or drink some water, drink something that'll make yourself feel full. You know, the best don't eat junk all day. So I try to I try to ride the bike in the morning, uh, three times, uh, three uh, three miles a day, and that's what I got from running the running back from the Buffalo Bills. You know, he taught me that. That just try to wake up and get your body moving, so you just won't be tired during all the, during throughout the day. So I try to I try to meal prep. Instead of just buying regular food or snacking, I have a meal prep. So I eat three times a day, and those are the meals I eat. If I want to snack, I'm going to snack on a protein bar. I'm going to drink me a protein shake. You know, I ain't going to snack on the stuff I use snack, snack on, you know. So I, that's, try, that's what I try to put in my game to, to last longer in the league. So what do you feel like would be your, your biggest attribute to an NFL roster? I know we kind of talked about, like, what's your most important trait. But, like, if you had to pick, like, really just one thing that you think you can do better than everybody else, like kind of at your position coming into the draft, what do you think it is? Uh, probably uh, playing the ball and, and making tack open field tackles. You know, that's what I do. I make open field tackles. Um, I, I read and diagnose plays very, very, very well. You know, my coach, uh, Wesley Neighbors, he came from Alabama and he taught me a lot about what you need to know in, uh, in a player and what you need to know in the coaches. Like I really attack the coach. What the coach like to do? What the coach like like to do? If I see a receiver that's three yards from the, uh, the line of scrimmage, okay, he might be going over. He ain't gonna go back out. Or if I see he have his left leg up instead of his right leg. He do hitches when he have his right leg up, but he do a, a vertical when he have his left leg up. So that's the thing I I do. And, uh, I just watch film a lot, and I'm a playmaker, man. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, you know, who do you, like, model your play style after? Like, any NFL players you might look up to? Who do you try to, like, be like or strive to play like? Uh, I, I, I try to mix my game up. A lot of guys, uh, 
The first one I come to my mind is probably uh Trey uh Trey Rand Matthews. I go uh Eric Barrett and uh Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle because he's so smart. He's not the fastest, he's not he's not the strongest, but he's smart. He know how to make plays, he know where to be at the right time. And Eric Thomas too. I like I like how he played because he's physical, real physical. You know, he's not scared to tackle, he's not scared to uh uh talk talk trash to, you know. And Ricardo Allen, uh from the uh, Falcons, man. I like how he played, he played real physical. He ain't the fastest either, but he's real smart. He's smart. He watched film, and those are the guys that I look up to because of position. I don't. I just don't like those guys because they play football. I like, I like those guys because they play safety and how they play safety with the swag they play with. Hey, you're the third player I've talked to. That's an Earl Thomas, so he must be a, a real popular guy. <laughs> yeah, man. If you watch his film, he, he'll, he'll bring a lot of swag to you and a lot of juice to you, man. For sure, for sure. So uh, what's your favorite college memory? Who what? Uh, it's so crazy because I've been in uh, college four years, and my last memory is probably the last game of the season of this year, man. We play uh, SMU, and 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 the reason the reason I say that is because uh, we were going through a lot of adversity. You know, uh, our head coach had just left. Uh, Lane Kiffin had just left to go to a new school, so we didn't know who was our head coach was gonna be. And then we uh, they matched us up with uh, SMU was probably like uh, the top in the nation of passing yards, top in the nation of scoring. All type of numbers, like the big time number. They had the best receiver in the com- the, uh, the, the uh, in, in the uh, country, not country, uh, they uh, district. You know, so we had a lot of stress on our back. Our head coach had left, you know, nothing. N- n- the head coach, the media saying, "Oh, we're gonna be the underdogs," you know. And we came out, we had a fire in our chip, man. And, and we, we outscored them, outplayed them, outrushed them. You know, and that's the that's the best fun I ever had in my life. You know, and just the, the team bonding, man. Everybody, everybody's with each other. When Lane Kiffin left, I told you guys, when Lane Kiffin left. We probably couldn't win not one game with Lane Kiffin, but we also couldn't win not one game with uh, Wilson Love. That's our strength and the coach. We probably couldn't win one game without our defensive coordinator. We could have probably couldn't win one game without our offense coordinator. So that one missing piece with Lane Kiffin, we missed him, and, and he was a big key. But that didn't change our that didn't change our swag or what we played with because he was a team first player, team first team. You know, so that last game, that last, that last taught me a lot. That last game taught me a lot that adversity you're going to strike is just how you're going to respond to it, you know. We're not a head, head coach. Our whole team was surrounded by Lane Kiffin, Lane Kiffin, Lane Kiffin. But we wanted to show that Lane Kiffin is the face, but we the blueprint. And that's what we showed. So, you know, you just kind of talked about my next question, but, uh, like, what's the biggest adversity you faced in life? And then, uh, obviously, how'd you overcome it? Uh, I, uh, coming to my freshman year, I thought I was going to be the man because everybody, I, when, when people recruit you, they recruit as in, like, we want you to be the man. We want you to start. So my first two years, I played a lot of special teams because I had guys in front of me. My first mid, first year, I was like too cocky. I like, my second year, I'm like, man, let me just learn. So when he leaves, I can be ready to play. I want to be ready to play. I don't want to be all cocky. I've been ready to play. So the thing I, the thing I can say adversity is not playing right away. And when it strikes, you got to be, you got to stand in the paint and know what you want to do, you know. So I just learn from guys and, and just built me to the catch I am today, man. And, and when that adversity, uh, when that struck, when I had coach left, I sent that to my team, and I, and I told them the stories where I didn't start my freshman year. I didn't start my sophomore year. I barely started my junior year, you know, and now I'm starting. And I'm a senior, and this is my, my full season of starting. And I was and I was showing them that adversity is going to start and how we're going to respond. Yeah, for sure. So uh, one last question for you. Do you want to throw out some advice to, like, the young athletes out there who are currently, like, chasing their NFL dreams? Uh, grind. Just a grind, man. Grind every day and be coachable, man. These coaches want people that – they, they want you to be all hype. They want you to be a dog, but they want you to be coachable. Don't come in there with the uh, attitude as in, like, you're the best, man. Be coachable and be team first player, man. Everybody, every coach likes somebody who can respect the team, respect the team, respect the locker room, respect the coaches around, respect the ad- advisor who's going to teach you everything that's going to get your grades right. Just respect people and respect going to come back to you. And one thing I believe in is respecting the game. If you don't respect the game, the game's not going to respect you. So don't come in there thinking you're the big man or you can do anything you want. You probably get that first – that first year shine, that second year shine, but that third and fourth year, that that that, that, that the uh the game is gonna come back and bite you in the butt, man. So one thing I can say, respect the game. If you go, if you wanna be a football player, grind for it every day. Don't be on the streets doing this, and then on a on a weekend, then you wanna play football. Monday through Monday through Saturday, be a football player, and Sunday go to church. All right, Devon, I thank you so much for your time today. Do you wanna go ahead and uh, plug your social media handles so everyone can go follow you real quick? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, on Twitter, my name is uh, DB Devon27, and uh, Instagram is the same, DB Devon27. All right, bro. I appreciate you so much. I right, I thank you, brother, man. Have a nice day, man. You too. I'm gonna tune in. Yes, sir.